And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Factorio in our Back to Basics playthrough. We are getting plastic set up here. And now we need tons and tons of belt. Because the belt has to go right up the edge here. Oh, not this far. Oh, I did it again. Okay, so we're going to want fast inserters for this process. The beauty of this is I can just hold it down, go up with it like that. So we need to bring all over the coal that's right over here. Let's just drag this over. It's not interfering at all with any of this stuff. like that and we have power over here so let's bring it a little bit closer that way our power pole will be able to hit all of them three of these might actually compress pretty well so we've got quite a lot of power let's um, I'm going to belt balance it. Just like that. That way uh, we're making sure the, the belt is pretty full downstream. And the plastic coming out is probably going to how fast do these craft? So one second for two of them. Sometimes I, since it's a row of ten, I put half and half on either side of a belt. I think that's a good idea here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So the outgoing belt can go right smack in the middle. And then either side will have just one edge being used. Oh. So just like that. That way it's using both sides. Uh, and we're also going to want fast inserters on this side. Because it produces two at once, I want to be able to put those out on the belt as fast as possible. There we go. And now for power. And one more. That covers all of the inserters. That's why I do that. And for power, we're going to want to connect all those. And that'll start using some of our petroleum gas. And you can see we're actually going to probably need some red belt on here in order for all of those to be used. And red belt is kind of a pain. Just because I want all of those to be able to put plastic onto the belt. So if I extend this, oh lord. Like that. Anyway, we'll see how that works when I get a train up and running. So for a train station up here, we want to be able to unload oil for future, you know, future plans and then load plastic. And let's see, this will be a two headed train. And I'm guessing we're going to want three cars worth of train. So if we're going to want to unload oil, let's put the tracks because there's going to be an incoming and outgoing track. Hmm. It's 
kind of tough with no it's kind of a terminus terminus end here so let's say plastic loading plastic will be up here okay so that'll be loading plastic and we want an unloading for oil and that can be somewhere down here so somewhere like down here for oil unload I'm not too worried about efficiency right now but just to make sure we've got enough space that's the primary concern and maybe another light down here and I don't have any sort of cracking going on with my other oil fractions so we're gonna want to make sure and one more over where our mining is so for now heavy oil needs to get turned into lubricant so I'll put one here one there I'll put a tank like down here this can be lubricant because I do want and need some electric engines uh, for for uh, bots as well as pumps and everything else so let's see we have to go up and I need a couple more undergrounds and power power to everything I like to have my tanks covered as well with power because when you add pumps and circuit network stuff it's always nice to have them powered up have the power already in the area so this should be consuming the heavy oil my light oil for now I usually just to start the game off I usually have solid fuel being made here So we have light oil like this. And let me pick these up and there we go. So these will come out. And in and then be a lot of a lot of uh, solid fuel which we will probably eventually use for either fueling up a tank or car or a train or whatever so solid fuel is good and power just like that there we go oil is good to go our petroleum gas should uh, stay pretty good we're gonna want to set up a system to load um, the load the plastic and move them into a circuit sort of a circuit area and I'm not sure where, where we're gonna want to do that yet I like it by a copper vein, but that's not 100% necessary. Because we can always move copper around 
with trains, but I'm going to need the raw materials in order to make the trains, in order to move the raw materials, in order to make more trains. So I don't have any trains. I can't craft any trains right now because I don't have the engines. I can I can uh, do the cargo wagons, and there are other more uh, improved versions of locomotives, I believe. Where would they be? I did the rail tanker research already. Not 100% sure. There's railway two. I need advanced electronics. So let's research that. That's a gateway to a whole lot of other research. Okay, so we want two train stops. We want a train stop here. And let's take this one out and put one here. Not sure what to call this outpost yet. Um, so let's just... I'll, I'll look for... Uh, name suggestions in the comments if you want to leave a name suggestion let's just do uh something generic oil um oil one or let's do refine one plastic right for now set name so that is refine one plastic so this i'll for now call this refine one and this will be refine one oil so I'll set the name of that one and there we go what's great about what's great about uh, train stations is the names actually pop up in the map so it's a nice way of labeling what you need so with these set up I want to also do I have any curved rail on me I did not bring any curved rail which is weird I'm looking forward to the new version of the game that will s smooth the process of placing rail quite a bit okay we want two tracks and we also need we need a kind of a a coming and a going so it's going to be a two-way set of tracks i want to separate these one more so this will be in and then out, they'll be coming down and through. So I also need to bring these down. So as I go, I need, I think it's, I think it's right there. Yeah, there it is, right there. And then right there. Take out some little bits and pieces here. Those are still connected, which is good. So the trains, when they come in, will come in this direction on this top track. When they leave again, they'll leave and go down here. So that is how I'm going to set that up. And how we do that is with signals. So regular signals. So the signals tell you which direction the signal operates. So this is the direction I want this signal to operate. This is the direction I want this signal to operate. Okay, so uh, we're going to want a set of two signals over here like that. So a signal here. Oh, I need one more. And a signal here. So now when a train is coming in, these are separated by 
the direction. These can be two directions. So that's how we that's how we work that up. And this so this inner piece right here, from here all the way up to here and here and here, this is one continuous block. And anytime that block is filled, it will not allow anything through. The other issue is we want right here, when we're coming in, we don't want a train to enter this block right here unless there's no train in here. So if a train, if I have two trains coming in to pick up plastic, let's say, if a train is coming in here to, and there's no train, everything is green, it'll, it'll come in here, park in here, and start loading plastic. So that means this signal is red. But this one will be green because, because this is green, there's nothing in this block, but this one's red. So if another train that wants plastic to come in, that comes in here, it'll, it'll try to get up to right here where this, where this one will be red because there's already a train up here and it will block this entire intersection. So we don't want any train to come into this system if there's, uh, if there's no way to go. For some reason, I ran out of power. Oh my God, I'm getting attacked. That's not good. Yeah, they're destroying my power system. Run, Forest, run. That means the turrets ran out. Oh man, it's gonna take me forever to get down there. Okay, get my turrets ready. Yeah, they just destroyed that entire system. Thanks, biters. Appreciate that. I don't know where they're running in from, but they are coming in from a long ways away. They're either coming in from way down here or coming in from way over here. So that's just, that's just nice. Thanks, spiders. I appreciate that. That sucks. So let's, uh, I don't even remember how many we had here. Well, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I need 20 boilers. And they're still coming. And we need an underground pipe here, here, and let's see, we need there, there. Okay. And steam engines, we need seven. And inserters, we need There we go, and the rest is built. And let's see, pick up the, uh, the difference here. It just spewed a bunch of coal all over the ground for some reason when it... There we go. And power is completely broken off from the whole system. There we go. Should be good. Looks like I've got everything on there. These were turrets. 
and all of this power is off still. There we go. Now everything should be on there. All right, it looks like future episodes will be focused on defenses. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.